Hey guys, Aaron here from Morphal by Four. It is a stunning day here in Brookvale and we are just buttoning up the last little bits of Andrew's uh, what we call weekend warrior system. So I'll flip it around and I'll run through so you can see what it looks like. Uh, and I don't know how, how it is for you guys, but it's really bright out here and not the best filming conditions, but a, a tradesman never blames his tools. So this is all on me. So off-road animal bar, and it, that comes in a factory black powder coat. We've got steady Type-X Pros, steady stealth light bar to complete that. So that, that fits in there really nicely and it kind of looks naked without it to be honest. Uh, drive tech winch, I don't know how much you can see in there but that's what it is. Recovery points as standard on off-road animal bars. And as I was saying in the video yesterday, I don't understand why more bar bull bar manufacturers don't include them or they they clip the ticket and charge you more to get and you, when you got to buy another system to add on to it so four drive bull bar manufacturers you should be including recovery points on every bar that you do so uh what else we have maxis 265 7017 and dynamic D wheels if I can get back up here. Safari snorkel. I think I think uh, that was a last minute addition, wasn't it, Andrew? Uh, no. Was, oh. Bash plates were the last. Oh, that's right. Bash plates. Hang on. <laughs> bash plates. So these are. I don't know how much you can see, guys, but um, it's a bit bloody difficult. There, Brown Davis. Brown Davis and they integrate really well at the front here so with the off-road animal this is the off-road animal bash plate okay so that, that this part here goes down to here focus okay and then so that's where they that's where the the Brown Davis underguards continue so they're almost the same color powder coat as well so that's that's pretty trick and they go all the way back down to all the way back down there past the transmission and transfer case so let me get up and show you the off-road oh uh, sorry our back armor fully assembled struts and these are adjustable and this here this little red franger is where you adjust adjust the front struts from and then down the back, let me show you. This is awesome. On the rear, you can see the Outback Armour, Outback Armour adjustable rear shocks. And this is where you adjust uh, the shock from here. And it's convenient too, because on the rear axle, these are both on the, on the rear of the axle. Uh, on some models, you, you'll find like a Ranger BT50 that that the, the rear shock is on the other side, so you've got to kind of, you know, you've got to access both ends of the diff. And this here has got 300 kilo, it has 300 kilo uh, leafies in there. And greasable, greasable shackles with a little grease nipple there. So that's really cool. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish the video off down here because it's kind of kind of nice. Um, yeah, so that's our weekend warrior package, and and it's it's functional, tun tunable, customizable, however you want to put it. So we can change wheels, we can change tires, we can put different springs in, we can do different lighting systems for you. But this this system here just represents a really a great start, I suppose, um, a good platform by which you can you can get out on the weekends. You can tow with it, you can use it every day, and if you do want to go camping, you know, you can just chuck some stuff in the back of the car and, and get moving. If you want to go a bit further and you want to camp out of it for you know, a few days at a time, you know, we might have some dialogue around 
you know what sort of batteries lithium batteries we could put behind the rear seat uh, behind the rear seat you know what what fridges that we can put in the back um, because that's kind of the thing that gets you sort of facilitates you going from you know a, a weekend away to to a week away so um, hope there's some value in this for you guys uh, oh one more thing spanner check spanner check on every suspension system all of these fittings u-bolts whenever you're whenever you fitted new suspension to your vehicle and new wheels actually you need to spanner check them so we we, we insist on 500k spanner check on new suspension systems and spanner check your wheel nuts after 50k's because new wheel nuts uh, powder coated finish first time you do them up obviously it, well, it can not obviously it can crack the powder coat off and you know you get thousands of an inch of movement and you, you know you might find find yourself um, you know with with loose wheel nuts so double check double check double check uh, and I think I think um, Phil is just completing a handover it's something we do on every build when we do a build for a client talk about uh, we always do a handover just showing to our clients where all the the vital vital components are I'll leave you to it Phil's looking very handsome in his man bun kind of godlike I suppose have an awesome day guys love you all